in churches, in homes. Right now, across the country, in over a thousand different venues, Focus the Nation is happening. And we're part of that activism. And it's all to bring education about global warming and activism and participation in the solutions. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight at uh, Focus the Nation event. This is a uh, very encouraging to see everybody here. I want to introduce uh, a young emerging leader, Kai Christensen. After you've taken actions at home, you might want to join or start a group so you can help make changes at school and in your community. When you're a part of a group, it is easier to turn your action concerns into actions because you multiply the power of your action with everybody else's. So my name is Abby Fenton and I'm the Education Program Manager for the Will Steger Foundation and uh, I was one of the co-organizers for Focus the Nation along with the Bell Museum and the Humphrey Institute for Public Policy. <laughs> It is a tremendous honor to be part of any event that is led by someone like Will Steger, who more than any person I believe almost in this country today is helping us change the planet for what it needs to be. We have every department in the city of Minneapolis focused on what they can do to change the climate. I want my kids and my city and their grandchildren and your grandchildren in a new economy that's based on harmony with the planet and creating a sustainable world. And I want you to give a huge round of applause to a remarkable public servant, State Senator Ellen Anderson. Yeah! that global warming is the greatest challenge of our time and we have to act now. The good news is that our environmental challenges create incredible opportunities. We have unbelievable opportunities right here in Minnesota to create those green collar jobs, to lead that industrial revolution that's going on all around the world. What I'm involved with in the U is the student organization EcoWatch. Um, so it's a purely run student organization based in Minneapolis, actually, and we've been around for a couple of years and we're really focused on expanding the environmental dialogue and really engaging students and having discussions with them. My name's Holly Ladd and I go to the U of M and I'm a senior and I study environmental sciences, policy management and applied economics. I've been to a lot of climate change events, but this is one that really focused on the youth. By having it at a place like First Avenue, um, which is really music driven, youth culture driven, I think that really hit home. And you could see that by the crowd that we have. It was a lot of people under 35, and that's really important, obviously, because we're going to be the generation that's going to be having to really face this. And we're moving forward collectively. We're moving past the conceit that we can do this alone. We have to reach out to each other and, and look up to our leaders and ask of our leaders to make this transition in our society. We all talk about change and the need for change and what is it that drives change. It's people like you coming together and talking about the real solutions to global warming. And I'm really glad to hear Representative Knuth raise the point that it's not just our individual actions, what we do in our homes, but that we call on our leaders, our public officials, our mayor, our governor, our legislators, to pass the really tough laws that drive down global warming pollution in our economy. Be the change, and that's what this is about. People like Will Steger and others who help get the public awareness, people like the organizers tonight who made it possible for us to get it together, people like Lady Shay and this fantastic band who touch us deeply inside of us. All of us are about making that change. I'll be very brief, but it's my honor to introduce Will Steger, who's been one of my best friends for over 20 years. And his message, because he's committed, because he's a passionate, because he wants this planet to be something that we can bequeath to you and future generations, he's now dedicating his life to bringing this message of the crisis that we are facing, that's threatening our humanity, that's threatening the continuation of life as we know it on this planet. And when we got people in Washington like George Bush who say, oh, there's no problem, thank God we got people like Will Steger to say, you got your head in the sand, friend. Look around you. Catch on. Look at the world. 
Let's take away the profit and tearing and the greed and put people first, put the planet first. And so it's my privilege to introduce one of the greatest friends and people I've ever known, Will Steger. When you want to make a change, when you want to make po change policy, you need power. To make power, you need organization. If you want to stop a coal plant, you need power. You need to organize. You need to be a unified front on global warming and for this planet. You're seeing this is really different. You have the, all the local politicians have come out to talk to you. This has never happened before. Why? Because you're organizing. You have a voice. You're going to determine the future elections. We're going to elevate our elected officials to, again, to what they're entitled to and respect. You know how we're going to do that? By you voting them in. This event tonight was incredibly energizing for me. I love working with young people. I find that when you start engaging in solutions, uh, it makes you want to take action, it makes you want to do more. And when you work with young people, the optimism, the enthusiasm, the sense of hope, it's just part of the fabric of their being. And it's incredibly contagious. Our school is the first in the metropolitan area to initiate energy wars, which is something that is deviated from campus wars, which is a nationwide war to conserve energy. And over 3,000 campuses are participating in it this year. And we are doing it at our high school level, which is really exciting, and I'm really proud of our school. And the goal with Campus Wars is to not only compete against other schools, but to compete against yourself. This was absolutely <laughs> awesome. It's been it's such a rush to kind of see all these people come here. Everyone's excited about the same thing. And all the speakers were fantastic, and the music was great. And this is just... It's so energizing to know that this same thing is happening all across the country. It's just, uh, we had some amazing politicians come out tonight um, from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and even from the national scale. We had former Senator Mark Dayton. He came out and introduced Will. We had Secretary of State Mark Ritchie. We had uh, Kate Knuth. Um, she's a state rep and was elected at age 25. She came out. Uh, we also had uh, Minneapolis Mayor Ryback and, um, and several other people as well that did an incredible job talking about the importance of youth leadership, uh, the importance of culture and uh, economy in all of this discussion, and the importance of getting out the vote. Yeah, I, I'm really very hopeful, and I, I feel so proud of you guys. I listen to you on the stage, and it's just incredible. I feel like your parents almost. <laughs> <laughs>